While much work needs to be done, Milwaukee has become a leader in recent years in addressing the needs of men, women, and children who are homeless. Now one program is reaching beyond the immediate needs of individuals by providing them with the tools to make a successful transition back into the community. In our Sunday morning spotlight, Michelle Fiore shows us how the rescue mission's new journey is transforming lives. I grew up in uh, Marchy, Arkansas, a little town, population about 3,200. But Malcolm Williams had family in Milwaukee. Most were here, in fact. My mother moved down south to raise me because she figured I'd be, uh, she wanted to raise me down south so I'd get more respect than in not a city setting. The two were close. So sad days set in in 2014 when William's mom died. I had no hope. I was contemplating uh, suicide. Come to find out I was in a deep uh, depression and didn't know it. An addiction to cocaine and alcohol spiraled and he was living on the streets. So I was just coming here for meals at the time. Uh, and then a uh, uh, New Journey recruiter by the name of James Griffin took me on a tour. The homeless shelter at the Milwaukee Rescue Mission, where Williams was staying, was now also offering him a chance to get sober. This year, happy days are ahead for Greg Nye, who oversees the New Journey program. He says 30 men will graduate. All of those men came to us broken. And initially, a number of them really pushed back. They didn't want help. I would say over 90% of the men on the New Journey program come through our front doors homeless. About 2,000 men, women, and children enter the Milwaukee Rescue Mission every year looking for a place to sleep and a meal to eat. Of those 2,000, about 130 men will say yes to the New Journey program. It's a six-month program with no out-of-pocket expense, helping men conquer a substance use disorder. You see success stories every day. That's one thing that keeps all of us going is we really see the fruit of our labor. And it's all paid for by donors who support the 130-year-old Milwaukee Rescue Mission. If they can come here, all their needs are met, food, clothing, and shelter at no cost to them for up to 12 months. And that way they can, you know, that eliminates a huge stressor. And then they can just really focus on their recovery and rebuilding some of those relationships they've broken, maybe with family, friends. The rebuild starts here. At the front of this classroom, Jonathan Mosier's lecturing on life skills. And all those stress hormones start kicking in, worry, anxiety, fear. If I lose this job, how am I gonna pay my rent? If I can't pay my rent, I'm gonna lose my place. If there are recovery skills classes, small groups to engage, and one-on-one -on -one time with mentors like James Griffith, who once sat in these student seats. I grew up in a single family home. Right? And I made decisions that led me to addiction. What happens over time is we build trust with men who have a really difficult time trusting people. And that's why we can see some of the success we do in our programming. When you're trying to feed yourself, when you're trying to clothe yourself, when you're trying to, uh, uh, you know, make sure that, that, that you have just basic necessities, it's easy not to, you know, to, to focus on stuff like that. Samuel Watkins came to the mission from Green Bay last year looking for a job, but he wasn't accepted. You have to do a drug test before you can get in it. And unfortunately, due to poor choices, I failed it. I had kind of burnt a lot of bridges, so uh, family wasn't an option for me. With nowhere to go, Watkins extended his stay here. Those few days at the mission allowed Watkins time to look around. I got to see the guys that were going to church and uh, working in the kitchen, and they were all New Journey men. And I think the way they carried themselves, I think the, 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 you know, the, the pride that they had, I think the way they fellowshiped with one another. I had got show courtesy when I felt like I didn't deserve it. You know, I had, um, you know, guys would ask me how my day was going, um, you know, call me sir, things like that matter, especially when you're at your worst. As staff continues to love them, care for them, walk with them, encourage them, when they make that decision to engage with life transformation, it's just, yeah, it's amazing. So actually coming here and failing that drug test was the best thing that could have happened to me. Watkins graduated from the New Journey program. So did Malcolm Williams. Two men, formerly homeless, who wrestled with life-controlling addictions, now experiencing what it feels like to be free. The odds would be very high that I would either be out there still in prison or six feet under. I just want to thank the donors. I want to thank everybody that has anything to do 
with the Milwaukee Rescue Mission, whether it's uh, on the men's side or the women's side. Uh, the programs are phenomenal. The New Journey program runs for six months. Graduates can then stay another six months as part of a transitional services program. When a man comes here, we don't want him to, to remain homeless. Obviously, that's a decision he has to make, but we provide ample opportunity for him to turn his life around through the programs we provide here. And that's really what we want to do. We've had 21 men who have been sober, um, living on their own, maintaining a livable wage job for over two years. So I'm really excited about that. What do you think your mama would say if she saw you today? She would be proud of me. Um, she always kind of knew I had it in me, even though I wasn't doing it. She said you can be anything you want to be in life. I think she'd be most proud that I do have a relationship with the Lord.